everyone we'll see now we'll draw flow chart and al algorithm will write to find greater of three numbers so this is algorithm uh, this is flow chart and this is a uh, dry run means uh, on uh, without executing on computer roughly we'll see execute the program so uh, let's uh, see the algorithm here uh, very first step is a uh, start okay so start means you have to start the program then you have to read three numbers you can write input also so we will use the variable a b and c uh, and we will check if first number that is a is greater than b and a is if both the condition are true this is first condition this is second condition if both are true then what will happen it will print a is greater means if uh, a is greater than both a is greater than b and a is greater than c it will display a is greater and directly it will come out means it will stop the program okay and but if a is not greater than b or a is not greater than c because and is used and means what both the condition should be true if any of the one condition is false like a is not greater than b or a is not greater than c okay any uh, then it will come below so how it will come below so we will see so i'll rub this okay if this is false okay if this condition is false first condition is false so what will happen so it will go below it will go below here it will check b will be checked with both b will che will be checked with a b will checked with c if b is greater than a and b is greater than c means b is greater than both then only it will uh, display this and uh, b is greater and it will come out of the loop uh, for uh, if uh, condition uh, that is it will come out it will print and it will stop the program but if uh, this uh, you can say uh, if if this is uh, you can say if uh, if b is not greater than a now here it was because false so if uh, we can write directly also b greater than c but if uh, we can write this well so if b is not greater than a or b is not greater than c so means any of this condition is false then it will uh, finally c is greater why because if b is not greater than a and b is not greater than c means finally c is greater so it will print this and stop the program now uh, let's take the algorithm for this uh, for, sorry for dry run for this uh, we'll see first example and we'll draw the flow chart also so i had drawn here flow chart so with the example we'll see uh, this program uh, first example we'll see here let's take a is equal to 30 b is equal to 10 and c is equal to, uh, sorry a is equal to 30 b 20 and c 10 means here largest is the output is a is greater now we'll see each step if we take this value as this okay so let's take uh, here in the algorithm itself uh, suppose we took a as 30 now okay suppose we took a as 30 b as 20 so a is 30 now b is 20 and c is 10 okay now it will check uh, 30 greater than 20 yes okay if it is true and it will check if it is uh, 30 greater than uh, 10 yes both the condition are true means it will check whether like this way means now here means uh, 30 is checked with 20 and it is checked with 10 here 30 greater than 20 and 30 greater than 10 means both are true 30 is greater 30 is greater than 20 30 is, so it will display this and stop the program same way i will take second example second example is this way now a here we had put a smaller let's take second example b20 uh, a20 b30 c10 so here largest is b so let's uh, come to algorithm so here we will take now b as a greater but it means if this condition is false now we'll start from first 
so a a is now 20 b is 30 and c is 10 means now it will check 20 is greater than 30 no okay means here itself it is false means it will not go uh, it will check this also uh, 20 greater than 10 okay so yes this is true but and means what both the condition should be true so one is also false so it will be false so what it will do it will come below because this condition both and means what both the condition should be true now here uh, 20 was not greater than 30 so here itself it was false so it will not print this means this statement will not get executed because this was false because um, a is 20 and b is 30 okay so it will go below in else part and then now it will check now here what will happen uh, here it will check that is um, b is now uh, b is uh, 30 30 is greater than 20 now we are checking second condition and 30 is greater than 10 yes because this is true this is also true so what will happen because both are true because b is what 30 and a is what 20 so 30 greater than uh, 20 yes and uh, b is what 30 30 greater than 10 yes means c is 10 yes both the condition are true then it will display what it will display b is greater okay it will print b is greater and it will come out of the loop so this is means after printing it should come out it should not go below in else part so we will see now third example third example if we to if we take a c as a greater number so let's take this example uh, sorry let's take this example okay now here a is 10 b is 20 c is 30 means a is smallest here and c is greater so we will see here so again we will check here now again it will check a is what 10 b is 20 so it will check 10 is greater than 20 uh, no and uh, 10 is greater than 30 no means this both are false then it will not print a it will go to else part now b is greater than a b is greater than what is the value of b b is 20 so it will check uh, 20 greater than uh, 10 yes it is true now we are checking second condition okay so we are checking second condition b value is a uh, 20 and a is 10 okay so this this part is true but and is used so it will check with uh, c also so b value is what here now we are checking this b is 20 c is 30 now here it is false okay means here it is true but in second part of this if condition it is false so because and means both the condition should be true if it is true then only it will print b is greater now but both uh, uh, this one condition is false in this so it will go in else part means finally c is greater so it will uh, print c is greater now same way we will see flow chart for this now if you are new subscribe to my channel now we'll see hope you might have understood this now we'll see flow chart for this uh here very first symbol this uh if this is a terminator symbol which is used for input and output you can write begin also for this instead of start here uh, so and uh, this is terminator symbol okay and uh, second uh, symbol this is uh, uh, you can say the second symbol is uh, called as a parallelogram which is used for input and output you can write here any uh, like your read three numbers you can write your own words also so i had written uh, input three numbers a b and c means you have to input three numbers okay at then Uh, we will now decide because now here in algorithm now we we had read three numbers now in step three is what we have to check whether a is greater than b and a is greater than c then display if it is true then display this and come out of the loop so we will see this part okay so here now this uh, arrow why it is used this arrows are used for uh, 
flow or uh, connecting uh, it is a flow of instruction connecting the symbol means how instruction get flowed so it connects one symbol to another to indicate how the instruction get flowed now here uh, we will see with this part that is uh, now see here first start then second is input we had took three numbers now now this is a uh, step three see here step three step three now we are checking so whenever you are checking that time you have to use diamond shape and when you are inputting use parallelogram and for start you have to use oval shape so hope you might have understood this now we will use because we are decision so diamond is used for decision making for checking one or more condition if it is true then uh, one output we want to print from that so here this this is a, a diamond shape which is used for decision making so it will check here if a is greater than b and a is you can use is if your own words so if, if this is true means now here we will see again if this is true it will it should print a is greater so we'll move again to flow chart so if this is true so you i had drawn here see you can see here yes part okay you can write see if it is yes if this is yes you can draw this side also so i had drawn here this side so you can draw this side also it is not compulsory you can draw here you can draw yes here also so or below also so but you have to write yes or no okay if it is yes so i had drawn here then you know for input output you have to use uh, parallelogram so if for input also we had used parallelogram for output also parallelogram so this is input this is output so we are printing means if both the condition are true then a is printed and the program should stop if both the condition are true it should print and this arrow indicates you have to stop the program see this arrow so i'll show you so it will move till here directly it, it had moved to stop part see this arrow here i am moving it had moved to stop okay so now but if this is true then only it will print this okay it means if it is yes you have to write here yes also but if it is no if it is no then what to do then b should be checked so again we have to see here algorithm so see in algorithm so next part is we will check this if a is not greater than b then it will move to means if this is false then it will not print this then it will move to else part it will check to means if this is false means this is no then it will move to next else otherwise we had seen this so if b will be checked with a b will be checked with c so here next again diamond shape because we are using a decision making uh, we are deciding from this uh, multiple condition so that we want to print one outcome so here uh, after a if a is uh, this is a uh, false means this is false this condition then it will move here then now b will be checked with both so this is again diamond shape so again diamond shape is used now again see yes i can draw here also here also anywhere you can use but if now here b is checked with a b is checked with c if both the condition are true then what will print if it is yes then we will print b is greater okay so you can see the symbol okay so we had used which symbol for this we had used uh, because sorry uh, because uh, this is uh, uh, output so we have to use parallelogram so you should know this for input output we have to use parallelogram so we had printed display b is greater why because b is greater than both so we had written here yes also yes also we had written Uh, uh then program should stop so we have to see i had made a arrow here so it, it had moved to stop part so this is b this is arrow but here if any of the condition is false means in this any of the condition is false you know one true one false or both false then it will move to no because and means both the condition should be true so if any one condition is false or both the condition are false then it will move below okay so finally what will be greater c will be greater 
so we had written a no means if this condition upper condition is false means b is not greater than a or b is not greater than c then it will that is and we had used why because both the conditions should be true if any one condition is also false or both are false then it will move here and uh, finally c we had used uh, display c is greater and then it will directly move to the output means finally program should stop so here parallelogram again we had used so hope you might have understood this program so you can see again so this terminator symbol is used for uh, start and stop of the program parallelogram is used to input and output diamond that is is uh, used for decision making and uh, arrow is used for connecting the symbol relation between the flow of instruction to indicate and this uh, uh, parallelogram is used for output as well as input so these diamonds are used for decision making and this start and stop ter this is called terminator symbols is start and this stop the start and below is stop so you can see full program again so this uh, hope you might have understood if you want uh, more programs more flowchart more algorithm more dry run on another any uh, uh, program you want algorithm flowchart uh, so you can comment me on the section and uh, so that i will make a further video on this hope you might have understood so i'll show you once again this program start we had done input then we had done decision making if yes it should print a is greater than stop but if it is no then b will be checked with both b is greater than a or b is greater than if it is true then it will print b program will stop but if uh, b is not greater than a or b is not greater than c then it will print c is greater so you can see the full program and this uh, algorithm so if you are new subscribe to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and thank you everyone